2019, a former Florida resident embarked on a Google Maps journey to locate his home from about five years earlier. In a twist of fate, he stumbled upon an unusual object nestled within a man-made pond behind the house. Recognizing the potential significance of this discovery, he decided to contact the current property owner, setting off a chain of events that would ultimately unravel a long-standing mystery spanning over two decades. Armed with contact information obtained from a neighbor, the former resident reached out to Barry Fay via Facebook on August 28, 2019, with an intriguing question. Do you see a car in this image? He attached a screenshot from Google Maps, depicting the distinct silhouette of a submerged vehicle, positioned just 10 to 15 meters from the pond's shoreline. Barry Fay, the recipient of the message, examined the image and agreed that it did indeed resemble a car. Eager to learn more, he inquired about the exact location of this submerged vehicle. The former homeowner's response was both astonishing and unsettling. My friend, it's right behind your house. Despite spending considerable time in his backyard, caring for plants and landscaping, Barry Fay had never noticed any signs of a submerged car in the nearby pond, even during periods of low water levels. Upon returning home, Barry wasted no time scrutinizing the pond's surroundings, desperately trying to determine whether the submerged car truly existed or if it was a mirage. Unfortunately, his efforts from the shoreline yielded no conclusive evidence. Determined to definitively resolve the mystery, Barry contacted a friend who owned a drone. After launching the drone above the pond, they captured revealing aerial shots, confirming beyond doubt the presence of a submerged white car just 50 meters away from Barry's residence. Without hesitation, Barry immediately contacted the police, who arrived promptly that same evening. They took swift action, cordoning off his entire backyard with conspicuous yellow crime scene tape, clearly demarcating the area of interest. Throughout the night, dedicated rescue teams and law enforcement personnel worked tirelessly, and as dawn approached, they successfully recovered the vehicle. To their grim surprise, it turned out to be a white 1994 Saturn SL sedan, and inside its confines lay the chilling discovery of human remains. Interestingly, it's worth mentioning that the next generation model of the same car had been associated with the disappearance of Maura Murray, a case I previously mentioned. Subsequently, the car was transported to a designated impound lot, while the skeletal remains underwent examination at the Forensic Medical Bureau to establish their identity. Despite conducting thorough DNA analysis, no conclusive matches were found for the remains. However, a significant breakthrough emerged from the vehicle itself, as its owner was relatively easy to determine. The car, as it turned out, belonged to William Moult, an individual who had mysteriously vanished on November 8, 1997. At the time of his disappearance, William was 40 years old and employed as a mortgage broker. His life was characterized by an active lifestyle, often requiring travel for his profession. But how did he end up in the pond? The solution to William's disappearance may, in fact, be simpler than it first seemed. After all, the last known location of Molt positioned him at a nightclub located roughly one kilometer from where the retrieved car was discovered. Eyewitnesses at the nightclub recalled that he seemed notably inebriated as he left for the night. The last person to speak with William was his girlfriend. At around 9.30 p.m., he called her, assuring her of his imminent return home. However, despite having a few drinks, Moult didn't leave the nightclub until 11 o'clock p.m. Unfortunately, his girlfriend remained unaware of his fate as she tragically passed away in 2009. At present, there is a barrier separating the pond from the highway, preventing any vehicle from entering Grand Isles Pond. However, in 1997, no such protective measure existed. Notably, the house now occupied by Barry Fay was not even under construction at that time. Its development didn't begin until a year later. 
In essence, the occupants of this house over the past two decades, including four different owners during this period, were entirely unaware of the tragic incident that occurred in their vicinity. They remained oblivious to the silent witnesses lying submerged in the pond. Law enforcement speculates that while driving along Moon Bay Circle, William Moult likely lost control of his vehicle, leading it to plunge into the man-made pond originally designed for excess stormwater management. As police spokeswoman Teresa Barber aptly stated, we may never fully uncover the exact circumstances surrounding the car and the person behind the wheel. All we know is that William Moult disappeared over two decades ago, and now he has been located. Other findings. What adds an intriguing dimension to this story of a submerged car in Florida in 2019 is how it triggered a viral sensation, swiftly captivating the public's fascination. This unexpected twist of events spurred enthusiasts to calm through Google Maps in search of intriguing anomalies, and remarkably, their efforts produced significant outcomes. In November of that same year, an individual examining satellite imagery of a pond in Wyoming chanced upon yet another submerged vehicle. Subsequently, the car was recovered from the water, revealing a grim discovery in the driver's seat, a human skeleton. Through the use of dental records, law enforcement successfully identified the deceased as Davy Niles, a 72-year-old man who had gone missing in 2006. The circumstances surrounding Niles' demise remain enshrouded in mystery, leaving uncertainty about whether he succumbed to natural causes due to his battle with cancer or if he took his own life. Nevertheless, at the very least, Niles' family was finally able to give him a proper burial.